Hacer tu pedido online en Telepizza es mucho más fácil y cómodo. Te lo llevamos donde quieras y tienes el triple. Tres medianas por 7 euros cada una. Pide tu pizza favorita en telepizza.es. Yes, all, to win all games is important. And I want to win, I want to win the, the two remaining games. I want to finish the season well. I think we've had some good performances. Uh, you know, we've done a lot of good things at Barcelona. We've we've done some good performances against uh, Atletico Bilbao. We we won against Levante. So I'd like to try and have a have a good result and a good performance. Yes, we have people suspended, but not only people suspended in the first team, we also have people suspended in the B team. So players who we might have considered for the the first team from the B team are also suspended from the B team. So it's making it quite difficult to to get a, a balance and, and bring in some B team players as well because one or two of those players are also suspended. I couldn't give them a direct mark, but I could say trying very hard, working very hard and getting better. So that would be the that would be the what I would say about them. I think the players have, have uh, improved and it's taken a little bit of time and uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking for more improvements. I'm looking to continue to try and improve uh, at the end of the season but also towards the start of next season as well. As well. well, I want to try and finish in the top half of the league if possible. So we're going to have to try and win the last two games to do that. So I do believe that uh, the games are important. I believe all I, I think all games of football are important, uh, no matter who you play. But I understand that Granada have got, uh, they have something that they have to fight for relegation. They've had two very good results in the last two games. So we're going to have to play well. We have to play well. We played well against Levante. We have to play similar. We have to play, try and score goals, make chances make opportunities. So we'll try and do that in the game and we'll try and concentrate on, on us and, and not Granada. Well, it's disappointing to lose Ruben and Esteban for the same game, but also no Zuratuta, which means that we're a little bit short in central midfield. So we, we will have to, to alter. We will have to try and play maybe slightly different or with different players. But I hope that the players know what we want, they know how they want us to play, what would be expected from them. But yes, it's a, it's a miss to have both, both those players missing and, and also Zuratusa missing uh, at this time when we, when we could really do with them. Yes, I, I can confirm an out will play all starting goals because of really suspension. So, uh, and I'll, I, we will confirm the, the details of the other players in the, in the days and weeks to come. Uh, the first people we'll speak to will be the players and talk with the players. And when we are, we're ready, we'll, we'll give the information to the media. You don't think I would sell MD to Liverpool, do you? <laughs> well, I know about them. I know about them. Uh, we've discussed them. Uh, the club know more about them than I do, obviously. Uh, they've, they've had a chance to see them more, but we have discussed them, we've talked about them. And uh, you know, decisions will be made with them, just like it will be with, with the other players also. Yeah, he's OK. We want really to stay. He's had a very good season, really. He had a bad month. After he came back from Argentina, he had a bad month. Didn't play well. So maybe, maybe not being included in the Argentinian squad was because of his performances. But I thought his performance against Barcelona last week was exceptional. Back to form, played well, made some very important saves. But if you want to be an international player, you have to play well every week, consistently well every week. But when you're a young goalkeeper, you know, there's, you're always going to have mistakes. It's always a difficult position to be a goalkeeper and a young one. But I think Rulli's really really had a good season. I think he's matured. He started to to work. You know, we we need to. He needs to keep his work up. He needs to train hard. He needs to. He needs to be. He needs to improve his level of training as well. 
if he's to go on to be a top goalkeeper. But I'm very happy with him, and I, and I hope we're we're able to to keep him, make him stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm up to. Uh, yeah, I feel, I feel uh, by my understanding what I've been told that really well, really is happy here. We're happy to have him. I think everybody's happy for him to stay. But we have to understand he's still on loan. He's not our goalkeeper, so at any time that could change. But I think uh, I think we're we're pleased to have really and we would we'd like him to stay. Well, I can confirm this is what I would I I hope will happen, but I can't confirm this will happen. I, I'm hoping that we will be able to bring in three or four new players. Maybe they're maybe. One or two's on loan, maybe their transfers. Not exactly sure, but I'm trying to I'm trying to improve the squad. I'm trying to improve the team to give us a better chance of competing for Europe next year. I think we have to improve if we have any any hopes of competing for Europe Europe next season. Well, I can tell you that yes, I was I was in Belgium and Holland. I I went to. Watch games, watch players, but you get to know me, and I, I go to watch a lot of games. I go to watch football in, all over the world to try. Well, certainly in Europe, and uh, we're looking, we're looking at players, looking at teams. I'm always trying to get more information, trying to see if there's anything new in football. But yeah, we're we're looking at players all around Europe, not no players in Spain, players in Portugal, players in. France, players in Germany, players in Belgium and Holland. So we have to look all round Europe to get to get players. So all not just me, all the staff are, are working really hard out looking to see what players could help help the squad and, and help the team for next season. Well you you when you go to watch the games you mainly go to watch players what have been recommended or players you you you're, you're scouting. So I use the time to go and watch players it doesn't mean to say that we're signing them. It doesn't mean to say that we're we're taking them. It just means that you're the recommendations we're going to try and watch and players who we we like. But you can't sign every player you go to see, or you can't sign every player which is recommended to you. It's impossible. And uh, so that's why we go to lots of games, but you don't always, you know, take a player from the game. Yes. I think there's still a chance. I think he has a big decision, but we have a we have a very good chance. I can't confirm if if he will join us or another club, but he's certainly a player who I'd like to bring here, and I think that we we have an opportunity. I'd like to add. Uh, some more attacking options and I think there's one or two other positions I'd like to uh, look to fill but I'm looking to add some attacking options if possible well I didn't say I didn't say a number of players in attack I just said we were looking at attacking options we didn't we didn't say one two three we didn't say any any numbers we just said uh, we're looking at attacking options. We'll we'll give everybody the opportunity. <coughs> Alfred's part of the squad here. He's had his first year in Spain now, so it'll help him. He'll uh, he'll understand more about the the level, the standard, the type of play, just like I will hopefully after my time here. So we'll see, we'll see. But we we're looking for Alfred to obviously score goals. And we have to give them, we have to create opportunities, maybe that's something else. We have to have people who can create those chances for, for people to score also, which we've maybe not had as much as we should have uh, this season. No, I've spoke with Joachim about the, the philosophy and I know roughly the, the limits. So I'll, I'll follow that I'll, and I'll try and get the best team I possibly can. But in some cases, it does limit you. But I will follow the policies and try and make sure we have the, the correct number of players uh, through our philosophy.
Well, they have to be given a chance. I think pa- Pablo was uh, it was a great chance to play five or six games uh, for Osasuna and get the match practice. He's a young player, so and it happened it happened very late last uh, last weekend. So we we felt it was it was a good decision because we only had three games left, and we felt if he could get some match practice, it was good. But this is the decision. We have to see the, the jump now for Pablo, Alain, Eniko, uh, Aritz. You know, the younger players, they have to show that they can step up. If we want to have a team who's at the top of the, of the La Liga, you have to have levels of players and we have to f- see if these players can play at the top of La Liga. Because the expectations is us to try and make Europe. We want to try and have a team back in Europe. So we have to find out if these players can step up and play at this level. I hope that we give them opportunities to try and show it. Pablo's had some opportunities. He's had some minutes. Uh, Alain and Nico not so much. Eritz has had some minutes in, in uh, I think, against uh, Real Madrid, Valencia, difficult games. So the boys have to show by their performances and when they come to the team that they can they can step up because if we want to have a team if we want to have a team at the at the top at the top then we have to have players who when they go into the team are ready to do so well I, i've said i've said consistently that i'm i'm staying in spain i'm staying with lareal i'm very happy here i i'm enjoying the work and i'm beginning to see progress with the players i want to have a better team I want us to to climb back up the league. So I'm out there trying to improve the squad, the team. I'm getting ready for pre-season. I'm getting ready for the new season. I've been saying for maybe two months we're, we're now preparing for the start of next season. So lots of speculation, and and but it's the same. And uh, you know, I just have to. I tell you, told you what I, what I think. I think we have a good base. I think the club, the club is the base. Real Sociedad is a really good football club. Great traditions, good philosophy. But we don't have a team just now to compete at the top of the league. We don't have a team which can compete at the top of the league. No. But we have a very good base to build on that. We have to try and keep building to get back. Unless we have... Uh, a billionaire, uh, so that we can spend lots of lots of money. I don't think you can. So I think here at La Real, it has to be bit by bit progress, bits of progress every year. So next year we have to try and make some progress. From where we are just now, we have to make some more progress. The next year, some more progress. The next year, some more progress. That's how. If you're a football club who doesn't have big money to spend, you have to make small steps every year. If you're a football club with big money to spend, you have to make big steps. So we can only make small steps at a time. And uh, But it's a great football club with a really good, solid base, and we have to build on that. No, because I've just said that progress every year, small, the progress is what we want. We want to try and do better every year if we can. But we would like our objectives to be Europe. We have to try and make that happen. So we will try and do so. And we will do everything we can to to get back to that level. But you have to remember the competition. The competition in La Liga is very strong. The teams who are trying to get into Europe are very good teams. But we want to try and be playing against them. We want to try and show that we can be one of those teams. And we'll, uh, we'll try and do that next season.